Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. So y'all already know what time it is. We back with another Tim You, Tim You review, try on haul, video, all of that. Well, it's not really a try on haul because this one is going to be the travel version. Hmm. Yes, God. So let's get into it. So these are all of my travel items that I bought. Okay. So we're going to get into each one individually. So if you're going somewhere, this is for you. All right, first we got our passport travel wallet. Baby, I love, first of all, it's my favorite color. Okay, first of all, it's my favorite color. Second of all, it got so many compartments and pockets. Baby, I am going to Jamaica in July. I'm going to keep saying that because it's happening. And this is it for me. This, this is it for me. Okay, it got so many compartments. I love it. And it's thick too. It's sturdy and everything, girl. Anyway. You can't go nowhere without your wash bag. You can't go nowhere without your wash bag. Baby, when I tell you I need one of these so bad. And it's actually spacious. Like, look at all this space. Like, I'm legitimately going to put everything. I got facial products. I got soap. I got everything that I could possibly bring every time I go somewhere. I, I don't pack light. But this, all of it's going in this bag. Hmm? It's all going in this bag. And it's a big bag. So I appreciate that. Okay, so y'all know it get hot in Jamaica. Baby, it get hot everywhere. It get hot in Houston. It get hot in Jamaica. It get hot in Vegas. Y'all know I just straight, I travel, okay? I travel a lot. So it got three speeds to it, huh? It got three speeds to it. And baby, that thing blows something serious. Let me tell you. You think I ain't finna be on the beach with this? And guess what? You could charge it. Nah, I ain't come with a charger. Yes, God. And a little thing, you can put a little necklace on there and you can carry it around your neck. I might need to find me a lanyard to put on there. Yeah, I might have to do that. This is my favorite part. Okay, so I had lost mine, right? I lost it when I came back from Jamaica last time, but it's a waterproof phone case. Y'all yeah, watch this. Watch this. Okay. I got an iPhone 14 Plus. It fits up to six and a half inches. That's an iPhone 14 Plus with a spec case on it and a wallet socket on the back. A wallet pop socket, whatever you want to call it. Thing. See how I got that on the back? Do y'all know how thick my phone is and it still fit in this thing? And what I like the most about this one that I didn't have with the other one is that I can actually touch my screen. The other one, I had the hardest time touching my screen. It was ridiculous. But look how look how big my phone is and it fit in there. Baby, quit playing with me. <laughs> anyway, so I had to get some swim shoes because guess what? Lost those two. Don't know where my Jamaica one's at from the last time I went to Jamaica. So I had to buy some more. I had to buy some more. Now, I did go up a half a size. That bottom is hard. I wear eight. I got an eight and a half because I didn't want it to be too tight on my feet, and I didn't know how they was going to fit. So if you look at the back, you see that extra hangage back there? That's all right because I'm going to still wear them. Until next time, bye. Girl, you gave me your soul.